Hi, I'm Pinari Sampitak. I'm, I'm an artist uh, based in Bangkok, Thailand. Nari means a woman and um, P is a prefix uh, meaning extraordinary. Through the school years, um, I, I was into photography. I still considered uh, works from that period, uh, 1985, 1986, based and, and still relating to what I'm doing now. I've been able to even open up to my works. At first, it was kind of like a focus of this particular woman at that young age, whether it's personal experience or interactions with other people. I was attacked when I was uh, 21 in Japan. Making art helped, and I think it created this uh, independency. That led for my interest in the body of the woman or not, through all these angles. Of course, the breast stands out, and making all the, these breastworks through these years um, biographical in a way. Year 2000, I, I was creating a lot more sculpture installations, and, and then because I work with a lot of mediums and materials, and, and they're very tactile, they, and, and uh, visitors want to touch them, but they're not allowed. So, so this one with num num, the uh, breast-like cushions uh, filled up in the room. So what I ask is just like, uh, take off your shoes and go into the work. Everybody can share the space. Some of them are subtly relating to a political issue or social issue, like um, hanging by a thread. That, that's the uh, hanging hammock installation. It's not about the, the female in itself, but it, does come from um, the female element, as is from the fabric that is being used. Uh, Breast Stupa Cookery, which I started since 2005. It's a project that I make cooking molds and invite different chefs to work with them. And uh, it's my way of uh, asking people back what they think about this form, the Breast Stupa. With the mats and the pillows, I place these uh, straw mats, these uh, reed mats um, on, on the floor in the gallery and uh, had pillows uh, without the strings in it. I noticed that the, uh, the visitors, they were kind of like um, uh, building and, um, and I thought, ah, you know, it's um, something that can uh, evolve. So my challenge was to myself that I wanted to use one element, one model to build an installation. Like the title suggests, the house is crumbling. I'm, I'm using these uh, kind of soft, fragile elements, but then when, when they're put together, um, they can create something solid. You're able to share the space. So it's kind of like our society, our environment at the moment, and um, it's, it's fragile, but we can make it work together. We can still instill like these um, experience in um, enabling us to be able to work with our hands, uh, you know, come back to the basics. Um, it's just a matter of tying, uh, piling, building or, or deconstructing um, and, and, and then you build up your own because it's actually your each one's uh, responsibility. In, in what our world is now, yeah. In the museum, people are used to coming in and saying, like, do not touch the artwork. I don't know what's gonna become of this piece. The audience have to learn to open up to the artwork also. And now I'm really looking forward to see what, what's gonna happen.